love virtual yoga. I'm so excited that we get to do this. Thank you so much, Michelle and Mo from Vindy for putting this on for us. And so today we're going to do about a 45 minute flow. There will be a quite a bit of vinyasa in there, little bit of holding postures, a little bit of, little bit of that, um, and just lots of movement and sweating. If you have a fireplace that's accessible and you're used to a hot room, warm it up. If you're used to a hot room, in my opinion, cold yoga, not being in the hot room is very much more difficult. It's very much more intense in my body. You're creating more from the inside out rather than the outside in, okay? So, just like any other practice, when you find yourself on your mat, do what works today in your practice. Skip what doesn't. Um, customize, modify, all that kind of stuff, and just enjoy the time that you get on your mat. Maybe we'll have here and there, we'll have a few distractions, okay? So start on your, let's start seating, okay? You can sit cross-legged, you can sit into your heels. Close your eyes, sit up tall. Right away, get into your breath. I invite you to close your eyes. You can keep your eyes closed during your entire practice if you want lots of peace on your mat. And as much as possible, see if you can avoid looking at the screen that you're watching this on. Be totally in the space of your practice. It doesn't really matter what shape my body is creating in a posture. Listen to your body. Tune in. Big inhale. Open mouth, exhale, side out. <sighs> inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, get all of the air out. One more time, big inhale. Big exhale. Eyes can stay closed or you can flutter them open. Inhale, circle, sleep up. As you exhale, reach the right hand forward, left hand back. See if you can keep your shoulders and your hips in one line. Big inhale, stay tall through the crown of the head. Exhale, extend energy out through the fingertips. Inhale, back for neutral, reach the arms up. Exhale, left hand forward, right hand back, gaze is where it's comfortable in the body. Breathe in through the shoulders, sit up tall, grow up tall on your inhale. Exhale, extend through the fingertips. Inhale up through neutral, plant the hands behind your hips, heels ground down about hip width distance, take a big inhale here. Exhale, lift the hips up, reverse tabletop. And see if you can, instead of, Paul uses the word, instead of a sinking hammock, really send the hips up high. So your glutes, your inner thighs, your hamstrings, pressing into the heels, lifting the hips up. Now broaden through your collarbone. Take a big inhale. If you want to advance here, kick one foot forward. Keep breathing. Switch it out. Opposite leg if you're lifting up the foot. If you're staying here, lift up the hips. Big inhale, both heels down. Exhale, release the hips down, reach forward, pick up one shin. I'm picking up my left shin first. You can stay here, or you can switch it out and lift up your right shin. I like to flex the feet here. Start to engage the belly more than you're engaging the tops of the legs. Switch left. If you want to pick up both legs, leave them both lifted. Pick up your right. Switch it out. So if you're switching, you're just tapping the toes at this point, roll the shoulders back and down, open up the heart. Maybe the gaze comes up. See if you can slow down your breath here. Take the hands to heart center. Maybe make a diamond shape with the index fingers and the thumbs. Tap left, tap right, tap left, tap right, left, right, left, right. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe play around with striking the legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit up in the boss in the boat pose. Cross at the ankles. Roll over the knees. Plant the hands. Step the feet back. Downward facing dog. Big inhale here. Big exhale. 
Maybe you growl a little bit. That's what typically happens in my body. Big inhale. Big exhale, lift the tailbone up and back, spread your shoulder blades out wide, melting the heels into the mat, grounding down. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat, shift the weight forward as you inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to the mat. Untuck the toes, inhale up, Bhujangasana. Take the wrinkles out of the back of the neck, look forward and down, inhale, lift. Pressing into the feet, exhale, release. Inhale, tuck the toes. On your exhale, knees up or knees down, press up, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. That's one variation of your vinyasa. Look to the top of your mat, start to tiptoe the toes, so you can keep your legs straight. You're walking up to a forward fold, bend the knees when you want and need to. Exhale, fold. Maybe you hold on to opposite elbows. Maybe you create a shoulder rinse. Letting the head hang heavy here, soften into the knees. So just behind the kneecaps, add a little bit of water, a little bit of fluidity. One more round of breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Tall and long through the crown of the head. Strong spine. Exhale, release, forward fold. One more time, inhale, halfway lift. Shifting the weight forward, turns on your belly. Reaching tall through the crown of the head. Exhale, forward fold. Soften into the knees, inhale, circle sweep all the way up. Look up, reach up. Big inhale here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, walk the feet back. High plank, inhale, shift the weight forward. Option to lower all the way down like the first time or exhale, lower down. Halfway pause, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. That's the second option of your vinyasa. Tiptoe to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle sweep all the way up. Standing back bend if you choose to add it in. Inhale up. Exhale, fold it out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, walk or jump the feet back, high plank. This is your third option for a vinyasa, big inhale. Shift the weight forward, exhale, pause halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, come back to your chaturanga, press up and back. Downward facing dog. So anytime you take a vinyasa, just pick one of those options. Sometimes it also feels good to go through a child's pose on your way to your downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg high, toes face down. Three-legged dog, shift the weight forward, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose, crescent lunge, either up high on the ball of the back foot or drop to the knee. You're gonna be stretch with the knee down, so don't talk yourself out of customizing. Maybe you work to straighten that back leg. See what's happening in the ribs. Draw the ribs in together, okay? Stay your hips down. Stay tall through the crown of the head. Hands through heart center, shift the weight forward. Still this left knee is over the left ankle, twist to the left. Elbow can be on the thigh or on the outside of the left knee. Maybe you open up and fly here, you can use a block on the outside of the left ankle. Inhale all the way up, crescent lunge. Open it up, warrior two. Settle in. Stay active through the entire leg. Grounding down through the heels. Lifting up and in as if you were going to bunch the mat up underneath you. Flip the front palm, inhale, reach. Exhale, reverse. Stay in the front leg, lunge. Inhale through neutral. Exhale, open it up, side angle. Gaze can be up or down. Forearm can rest on the thigh. You know that this is already a shorter practice. So maybe you take that advanced option every single time of letting the body do some work, okay? Work out all the stress and tension. Take the top hand to the top of the room, almost framing your ear with your bicep. Keep the belly active. So instead of the left ribs moving to the left thigh, pick the ribs up and away. Yeah, nice. Lift up and tall through the crown of the head. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, carl the hands down. Frame the front foot, step it back. Maybe you keep the left leg floating. Big inhale, flow it out. Leaning into our facing dog, big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale the right leg high. 
Exhale, lean your nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lean your nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lean your nose. Step to the top of your mat, crescent lunge. Reaching the arms forward and up. Drawing this right hip back, left hip forward. Sink down. I like my feet about hip width distance. Too narrow makes you a little more wobbly. Hands through heart center, reach the crown of the head forward, twist to the right. Same options as before. Use a block plate with the left elbow placement. Maybe open it up and fly. Can you bring peace into your practice? Hands through heart center, reach it up, crescent lunge, big inhale. Open it up, warrior two. Keeping the legs active, hugging the heels towards one another as you sit down. Staying tall through the crown of the head, shoulders in line with the hips. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears instead of picking them up. Flip the front palm, inhale, reach. Exhale, reverse. Any variation here. Long through the right side body and the left side body. Inhale through neutral. Open it up, side angle. If you're staying open, almost stacking the shoulders and the hands, really open up the chest. Maybe take the top hand to face the front of the room. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, curl the hands down. Flow it out. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look to the top of your mat, big inhale. Exhale, travel, step, jump, hop, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle, sweep all the way up. This time, exhale, hands to heart center. Here's an option for a self-assist, a self-adjust, especially since we're not in person. I want you to be able to feel the lengthening of your spine. So how you're going to do this, and if you want to watch me for just a second, I know, I know I said I don't like it, but maybe for this second. Take the heels of your hands, the outside edge of your hands. Press into the base of your ribs. You gotta feel where the, the bottom of your ribs are. Oh boy. On your next inhale, lift the ribs up. Keep your ribs here. Relax the hands down by your sides. So if you feel that length in your waist, I can feel your nods from here. Yes, I did. Oh wow, didn't know my waist was that long. Keep your waist really long, okay? Inhale, circle, sweep up. Keep the length in your waist. Exhale, forward, full. Inhale, halfway lift, still feeling the length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle, sweep all the way up. Standing back bend if you choose. Inhale up. Sink and sit. We can toss in a chair pose. Maybe your hands to heart center. See what it feels like to draw your shins back towards the back of the mat. Sink your hips down. The hips are at neutral. So our daughter asked to watch The Princess Bride the other day. If you've seen it, you know. Say man and wife. Say man and wife. And every time I'm in chair pose, I just think, <laughs> say forward fold. Just say forward fold. Man, you know how it feels in this chair pose. Big inhale. I get the same response when I'm here. When I'm in class, nobody's laughing with me. I get it. <laughs> Big inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Plant the hands. You're still in your forward fold or practice your crow pose. Knees come up behind the underarms as much as you can. Shifting the weight forward, looking forward, pick up the toes, pick up the hips, keep the belly engaged. If you're shooting back, three, two, one, shoot back, chaturanga dandasana, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing dog. Good job, you guys. Awesome work. Thank you for spending your day and some of your time and your energy on your mat, creating some self-care, creating some awareness. Big inhale. Big exhale, inhale the left leg high, stack the hip, bend the knee. So notice if your right hip starts to move right, hug it back in through neutral. Yeah, feel that work in the back of the right leg. Big inhale here, step the left foot to the top of your mat, warrior one, open up that back foot just a little bit. Stay down, arms come out wide, interlace the hands behind the spine, like that shoulder rinse that you did earlier, or reverse prayer hands, press the palms together, fingertips face up, big inhale, step up, warrior three, right toes face down. 
slowing down your breath. Active in the belly. Remember that lengthening in the waist of drawing your ribs up. Feel that sensation here. Big inhale. Exhale, warrior one, reach the arms up. Okay, if you've never done this before, don't overthink it. From your warrior one facing the top of your mat, spin around warrior two to the back of your mat. Flip the front palm, inhale, reach. Exhale, reverse. Inhale up through neutral, open it up, side angle. Top hand comes to the small of the back, so a half bind. Stay here or reach the front arm underneath the hamstring, not really underneath the knee, not really underneath the pelvis. Sit your hips down, open up your heart. So I can tell that my shoulders do not want me to go further today on this side, possibly because we're not in a hot room or possibly because we're all sleeping a little bit more maybe. So if you're in your body and you want to step up to your birds of paradise, step up. If you're staying here, maybe reach the left hand over the head. Maybe you reach the right hand as well, framing the ears. Birds, come down. We're all waiting for you as if we're still in the class. <laughs> Open it up, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. <laughs> Inhale up, star pose. All ten toes face forward. Exhale, goddess squat. Toes come out for your squat. Inhale up, toes face forward. Exhale, squat. Knees and toes face the same direction. Inhale up, goddess. Inhale to start. Exhale, guys, squat. So when you're goddess, glutes are active, your thighs are active, belly's active, tall through the crown of the head, sit down. Lift up the right heel, lift up the left heel. Small, tiny pulses. If your legs are quivering, looking for center, that's okay, that's normal. Nice. Heels down, hips up, wide legged forward fold. Breathe into the back side of the hips. Breathe into your hamstrings. Let the low back release. Softening into the knees. So there's this amazing concept in our bodies, this mechanism that says if your knees are locked out, folds should not happen. So it makes it extremely beneficial in the back when you soften the knees, then the head can relax down just a little bit more. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the right hand underneath your forehead. Inhale, the left hand high. Gaze can stay down or gaze can follow the hand. See if you can square out your hips. One more breath in. As you release, left hand down. Inhale, the right hand high. Active still through the feet, the calves, the thighs, the hips, the belly, all the way up to the crown of the head. Big inhale. Exhale, both hands come down, relax the head down. Arms can come out wide to a T, or hands to the hips if your low back is giving grief. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, warrior two to the front. So back to where you started. Do not straighten this left leg, okay? Keep this left leg bent. Your feet do not have to touch. You can keep your feet at hip width distance. You're gonna step the right foot to the top of your mat, chair pose. At the top, big inhale. Sit down. Take another big inhale. Sit down, the boss in a boat pose. You started here, come back here. Maybe you peace sign fingers to the big toes. Maybe you work to extend the heels. Maybe you open the heels up wide and shake all the way there. Getting used to the water that you're in today. Maybe you're guiding through rough waters in your navas in a boat pose. Maybe you feel really calm. Bring the heels back up high. Release. Okay, lift the arms up. Kick out through the feet for just a second. Look up to your hands, flex your hands as if you're pressing the ceiling. Okay, remember this sensation. Cross at the ankles, roll over the knees, plant the hands, step back. Downward facing dog. Does this shape feel at all familiar to the shape that you were just in? The shape can feel familiar even if the sensation is different. Remember how much how work your belly was? Kicking up and reaching up. See if you can create that same sensation here in your downward facing dog. Spread the shoulders out wide. Broaden through the collarbone. Big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale the right leg high, three legged dog. Stack the hip, bend the knee, scorpion. Keep hugging that left hip in. Picking up the right kneecap, let that right glute and hip open up. Take a big inhale, 
Step to the top of your mat, warrior one. We can still be hip width distance. Arms out wide, interlace the hands behind your back. The base of your spine will reverse prayer hands, hug the ribs in. Remember that sensation, we're gonna talk about this for, for this practice. Lifting up through the crown of the head. Shifting the weight forward, step up, warrior three. Left toes face down, so you can get that left heel even with the left hip. Reach a little taller through the crown of the head. Breathe into the standing leg. Big inhale here. Slow descent, inhale up, warrior one. Remember, you're gonna to pivot to face the back of your mat. Big inhale, exhale, pivot, warrior two, facing the back of your mat. Flip the front palm, inhale, reach. Exhale, reverse. Inhale up through neutral, open it up. Side angle, so for your side angle, top hand can come to the small of the back. A little bit of a bind. Maybe you find your full bind on this side. Keep bending into that knee and opening up the heart. If the body asks to keep going, step up, birds of paradise. Evening it out on both sides, reach the top hand to face the back of the room. Back of your mouth. Lift up the left hand, you got it, extended side angle. Open up the heart, open up the ribs. Birds of paradise come down. Meeting in side angle. Inhale all the way up, star pose. Exhale, got a squat. Inhale up. Exhale, squat. Inhale up. Exhale, squat. Stay in your squat. Press the heels of the hands out wide. Relax your shoulder blades down. Stay active even if you're shaking. Two more rounds of breath. Big inhale. Big exhale. One more time. Inhale up, start pose. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Keep the bend in the right knee. Set the left foot to the top of the mat, chair pose. Hands can come to heart center. I like reverse prayer hands even in a chair pose, keeping your hips at neutral, sitting down. Drawing your shins back, drawing the belly button up and in, staying tall through the crown of the head. One more big inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Stay in your fold or second round crow pose. If you're working on baby crow, crow on your forearms. Feel free to lower down to the forearms. Hug the knees into the underarms. Pick up both feet. Look forward. Forehead stays away from the mat so you're picking up your body. If you're in your crow pose and you're shooting back, lift up the hips, big inhale. Exhale, shoot back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, so arm balance options. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Left knee, left underarm, pause and hold, or your scissor pose. Inhale, extend. Left knee, right underarm, kick it through, pick up the right hand. Then plant the outside of that left foot. Sit your hips all the way down. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check your screen for just a second. So now you're sitting down in a wide-legged forward fold. Lots and lots and lots of options here. First, slow down and breathe. Especially if you're talking while you're doing this. Instructing people on what they're doing around you. I met more of the people at your house, but this works too. Okay, so you can plant your hands in front of your hips. Work on lifting up one leg at a time. That's a lot of work. You can reach over the left leg. Then reach over to the right, make it as dancey as you want, stretching into your low back, quadratus lumborum. If you've been sitting a lot, working from home, if you're standing more than normal, if you're sleeping a little bit funky during everything that's going on. Other option, if you're working on strength for your inversions, okay? Another option, okay? Not a must, just an option. Roll back. As you come up, plant the hands, lift the hips up high. Inhale to roll back. Exhale to press up. Okay, so lots and lots of options. Why 
one-legged forward fold. Okay, we're going back to where we started. Left hand at the top of your mat. Okay, you're gonna ground down through the feet, lift the hips up. Right hand comes down, pivot to the ball of the right foot. Inhale up, extend, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale the right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Option for your arm balance, right knee, right under arm, or just pause and hold. Inhale, extend. Right knee, left under arm, kick it out, fall in triangle, fall in star. Ground down the outer edge of the right foot for this one. Sit the hips down. Fold it out. Reach it out. Be as creative as your body's asking you to. Bring in a little intuition. Any variation works. Lifting up each foot. Rolling back and pressing up. Maybe just a forward fold. Reaching for the shins or the toes. Two more rounds of breath wherever you are. Leaning back with the right hand at the top of your mat, fall and triangle, fall and start, press the hips up, left hand down, inhale, extend the right leg high, exhale, downward facing dog, look to the top of your mat, good knees, big inhale, exhale, travel, forward fold. Interlace the hands at the base of the neck, the base of the skull. Bend the knees a lot, chin to chest. Slowly rise up to standing. Exhale, relax the hands down. Tadasana. Okay, remember that chair pose? This is gonna feel very similar to that. Inhale, circle, sweep up. Jayadasana Eagle, right elbow underneath the left, picking the elbows up away from the chest or holding on to opposite shoulders, or no one ever picks this one, but it's a good one. Pressing the forearms and the palms together, spreading the shoulder blades out. Lots of added mobility in the upper back, okay? So wherever you are in the arms, stay there, big inhale. Exhale, sinking to the hips, let both hips stay facing forward. Ground down through the left foot, pick up the right. Take the right knee on top of the left. If it would feel better in your body to be an eagle on your back, Okay, reclined eagle. You are still going to get, and sometimes in my opinion, a better stretch because everything's in a line there. Okay, so listen to your body. If you're staying here in eagle, sleeping eagle, sit up tall, stay tall, elbows in front of the knees. Inhale all the way up, sit down, squeeze the thighs together if your knees are healthy. Three, two, one, inhale, circle, sweep up. Exhale, opposite side. Sink and sit, think chair pose. Both hips stay facing forward. Ground down through the right, pick the left knee up really high. Take it up and over. Maybe you wrap that foot behind the calf. If your knees are healthy, squeeze the thighs together. Maybe pick the elbows up and away from the chest. Broadening through the collarbone, spreading the shoulder blades out. Use your breath. Sleeping eagle, big inhale, tall and long. Exhale, elbows in front of the knees. Inhale up, sink and sit. Inhale, circle, sweep up. Exhale, hands to our center. Inhale, circle, sweep up. Exhale, slow forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, walk or jump the feet back, high plank. Drop to the knees, so you're now you're in plank on your knees. Rotate the elbow heads, hits of the elbows, to face forward, 10 chaturanga push-ups, okay? Keep the belly active, keep the legs active, lower halfway down, then press back up. It even works to get your hands underneath your elbows, a little bit more work, okay? When you finish your 10, meet in downward facing dog. Okay. 
shift the weight forward, high plank. Lower all the way down to your bellies, hips and shoulders land at the same time. Okay, so we did Bhujangasana earlier, your low cobra. Maybe you take that option. Maybe you take the arms down by your hips, palms face down. This is up to you if you want to keep your feet pressing into the mat or if you want to lift your feet up. Totally what works for your low back if your low back is giving you problems. Feet can spread out wider. If your low back is fine, maybe you zip up the legs for a cobra tail. If you're picking up the feet on the next inhale, lift everything up. Roll the shoulders back and down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together so it's as if you're drawing your pinkies towards one another. Pick your thighs up a little bit. Keep kicking through the toes. Pick your thighs up. Pick your ribs up. Inhale, lift everything up one more time. Exhale, release. Gaze to the right. Let your body melt. This next one is for sure going to be your new favorite. <laughs> okay, forehead down. Feet are where are comfortable. This is if you're lifting up your feet. Reach your arms forward. Okay, you can use a block or a water bottle in between your hands. That's my preference. Actually, show you if you're watching. If you're looking, have block sideways in your hands. Inhale, lift everything up. Rocking horse, don't lift everything at the same time. So arms, legs, arms, legs, arms, legs. Keep going. Five, four, press the block away. Three, two, one, release. Look left. If you're windshield wiping your legs, which is a common option here, I really like to windshield wipe one leg at a time. Slowly. This is... A sprinkle, not a downpour, just a little mist. Switch out your legs if you're doing one at a time. Ground down the hands, ground down the forehead. Press up into a tabletop. Knees under shoulders. Knees are not under shoulders, nope. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Take a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, lower the belly, raise the gaze. Exhale, press it away, chin to the chest, roll the pelvis forward. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round it out. Any variations that you want, circling the hips. Breathing into the low back. Settle into your child's pose for a couple rounds of breath. Press up into your tabletop, roll over to your backs. If you have a block, bring a block with you. If you don't have a block, you can absolutely do this next part without one. Okay, so feet are hip width distance. If you're using a block, take a block underneath your left foot. You are grounding down as much of the foot as you can on the block. So if you can, the toes are not gripping the block. The toes are also on the block, okay? This will be easier if the block is closer to your hips. The further that the block gets away from the hips, the more work it is on the hamstrings, okay? So, hug the right knee into the chest. This is not for compression purposes. This is just for alignment purposes. So don't hug the shin in, just relax it in, okay? Press deeply into the left foot. Press the ball of the foot in. To the, into the block, so right behind your big toe, your heel, start to slowly lift the hips up. 
So you can stay here and then lower your hips and then lift them up, or you can release the right foot and send it up high. Roll the hips down, press it back up. You guys look so strong when you do this in practice and I'm just a wobbly mess. <laughs> so whether you're really wobbling or you feel really sturdy, just to be where you are. See if you can lift that right foot straight up to the ceiling. Let this left leg work. Two more times, lift it up, lower it down, lift it up, lower it down, hug both knees into the chest. Knees can stay together, or you can send your right leg long, cross the left knee over the body, spinal twist. Maybe you hold on to the outer edge of the left foot and kick it out wide. Gaze is up or over the left shoulder. My gaze typically stays up because of my neck. Knees can stay together. You can move the block in between your thighs if you want. Inhale both knees back into the chest. Send the feet up high, legs up the wall. Reach the fingers towards the toes, pulse 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause here. Take the heels out wide, reaching in between your legs. Pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause here. Bring the heels together. Floating scoops about a Pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One feet up high, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hug both knees into the chest. Move the block to the other side of the mat so that now the right foot can ground down on top of the block. As much of the foot grounding down as possible. Hug your left knee into the chest. This might feel really nice to hug it in at this point in your practice. Remember, don't squeeze it in. Just relax it in for alignment purposes. Press the right foot deep into the block or deep into your mat. When you're ready, lift up the hips. You can still hold on to the shin to lower up and down. Or you can send the foot up high, relaxing the hands down by the hips. Big inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, press up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Awesome work. I know you're not just watching right now. You're still doing this, and I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Last one. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Hug both knees into the chest. Both knees can pull over to the left or send the left leg out long. Cross the right knee over the body. Any variation of your spinal twist. Close your eyes. Allow your breath to gently move in and out of the body. Bring both knees back into the chest. You guessed it. Legs up the wall, reach the fingers up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pause it up, take the heels out wide. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring the heels together, reach forward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one feet up high, last 10, nine, you got it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hug the knees into the chest. Maybe make some circles with your knees. Happy baby, hold on to the shins with your heels shining up high, or hold on to the outer edges of the feet with your heels shining high. We're gonna move into an active variation of this happy baby. So, hug your knees in towards your underarms energetically. 
You can move the knees if you want to, if that feels better, but you're hugging the knees in towards the underarms and relaxing the tailbone down. I don't know if you're watching the screen, if you saw that, relaxing your tailbone down so that your low back gets to relax. The low back can lift up, that's okay here. It probably won't though, okay. Knees are hugging in towards the underarms, heels are kicking up towards the ceiling. So your legs might start to shake here. This is a lot of activation here. Keep your legs here. I feel like I'm hollering at you. Keep your legs here. Listen, y'all. <laughs> Listen. Keep your legs here. Take your hands down, bow your hips. Relax the arms down. Upset, baby, or angry, baby. Your low back will love you after this. Two more rounds of breath. Big inhale. Big exhale. Keep hugging the knees and pressing up through the heels like 2%. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. One more breath in. As you breathe out, take the hands back to the shins or the feet, back to your happy baby. If you like to sway, do so gently on your spine or peace sign fingers to the big toes and extend the heels out long. Hug the knees into the chest. Forehead reaches up to the knees. Maybe hold on to your heels. Thank you, Christine, for this one. One more big breath in. Exhale, your version of Shavasana. I'm gonna be real honest with you. Sometimes Shavasana does not feel good on my low back, so I bend into one knee for half of the Shavasana. And then I'll switch it out. Find a place where you can enjoy stillness for a few minutes. This is your time on your mat. This is arguably the most important part of your practice is the stillness. You move and move and move and move to allow the body to find rest and ease. From the bottom and the top and the sides and every part of my heart, thank you so much for sharing time and energy. Maybe it's a long distance space if you're far away or maybe it just feels far away because we've not been together in person for a while at this point. So thank you for continuing to invest in yourself, in your practice, in your yoga community. I've seen so much beautiful gratitude through this place, this season that we are in life, and I so value and appreciate it. Thank you for being those generous people that share and express kindness and generosity through your community, not only for yourself, but for others. The light and the teacher in me acknowledges and respects the light and the teacher in each of you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Feel free to connect with us on any social media platform. Let us know what worked, what didn't, so that we can continue to grow as a community together. Namaste.